A similar concept in jazz and contemporary music to chromatic medians is known as constant structure. As the term indicates, constant structure uses one chord type or structure with several chords in succession. In other words, the constant in the progression is a particular chord structure. There are three typical chord types that are used for constant structure progressions, major seventh, minor seventh, and dominant seventh suspended four. Here is a C major seventh chord, a major triad with an added major seventh interval from the root. Here is a C minor 7th chord, a minor triad with an added minor 7th interval from the root. And here is a C7 suspended 4, also known as C7 sus. This is based on the C dominant 7th chord, but the third, E, is replaced with a fourth above the root, F. Constant structure progressions often move in intervals that equally divide the octave, major thirds, minor thirds, or major seconds. The major third divides the octave into three parts. Starting on C, an ascending gives us C, E, and G sharp or A flat. Either name is acceptable. The minor third divides the octave into four parts, starting on C and A ascending, gives us C, E flat, F sharp or G flat, and A. The major second divides the octave equally into six parts, starting on C and A ascending, gives us C, D, E, F sharp or G flat, G sharp or A flat, A sharp or B flat. Here is an example using minor seventh chords in major thirds. C minor seven, E minor seven, A flat minor seven to C minor seven. Here is the sound of this progression. Here is an example using major seventh chords in minor thirds. C major seven, E flat major seven, F sharp major seven, A major seven, C major seven. Here is the sound of this progression. Here is an example using dominant 7 sus 4 chords in major seconds. C7 sus, B flat 7 sus, A flat 7 sus, G flat 7 sus, E7 sus, D7 sus, and back to C7 sus. Here is the sound of this progression. Notice that progression can be ascending or descending. These progressions are non-functional, so typical Roman numeral analysis does not adequately describe the chord relationships. Let's analyze this progression as an example. This progression begins and ends with strong tonal progressions in the key, so they will be analyzed in the typical manner. One major seven, two minor seven, five seven, back to one major seven. A bracket is added to the two five and an arrow from five seven to one major seven. This progression ends the same way that it begins and is analyzed accordingly. The constant structure portion of the progression is non-functional, so we will describe what is happening. Let's write constant structure with an arrow for up in major thirds. I will draw a line indicating the duration of the constant structure progression. Notice that the first and last chords of the constant structure progression can be analyzed with Roman numerals.